So, uh, let's see, a few more things. Uh, like I said, I mean, I get plenty of stuff from uh, Right Stuff, and then also Amazon for like, for like, if it's the, if it's like those 1099 ones that like Vertical will put out, or those, uh, or those, what do you call it, the, the, uh, even, like those, uh, 1299 ones that, ver that, uh, Viz will put out in their icky, uh, signature editions, those are usually, like, 34% off, 40% off when you get them on Amazon, especially Vertical. Vertical is, like, really good with, uh, with giving you a big discount if you buy it on Amazon. I think, like, their Drops of God mangas are, like, very cheap if you get them on Amazon. Uh, especially, like, when I got that that hardcover slipcase of a Nausicaa Valley of the Wind, which retails for 60 and I got that on Amazon for, like, 35 which is a ridiculously good deal. Uh, going into, again, like, research for series, um, this, this is a little bit outdated now because it's a few, it's like about, uh, this, this came out when, like, 2000, 2007, I think, uh, and, I mean, it's, uh, and I mean, you know, uh, what was it, this came out 19, uh, yeah, this came out 2007, so this is like five years old, uh, soon to be six years old, uh, but, uh, Jason Thompson's The Complete Guide to Manga is still a must-get, must-have for the manga aficionados out there that want to start getting more series and more good title series. And also, it's a good reference source if you're, if you're, like, running out and you're looking at, like, a, like, a used bookstore or, or you're at some con and they have a bunch of old manga that they're getting rid of or something and you just, you just don't know what something is, like, like you, like, sometimes with those really old kind of odd covers, it's really hard to tell if a manga is really good or really bad. Uh, but, I mean, you know, something like this, that's gonna, that's gonna help you, uh, pick it out. Now, to be fair, uh, Jason Thompson and, uh, like, so there are more than a couple of series in here that I just don't really agree with him entirely. But, of course, that's personal opinion. Like, he loves the bejesus out of, uh, Crying Freeman. I think he gives Crying Freeman in here, like, a like a three out of four or a four out of four. And, and, you know, uh, actually, yeah, he gives Crying Freeman here a four out of four, which, uh, which, um, you know, I... I despise that series. It is a garbage series, in my opinion. And even the fact that a friend of mine gave me, like, three of the volumes, and then I got, like, two of the volumes as, like, a Christmas present. So I so I literally paid nothing for this series, but I still felt robbed of my time reading that series. I, I'll, re I, I'll probably read it again at some point when I'm going over, like, more Kazuo Koike stuff, but... You know, in my mind, it just isn't feeling good. And I've talked to at least a couple other people that, hey, you know, I've read, like, Lone Wolf and Cub and stuff, and have read some Koike stuff, and even they can't, can't enjoy it on any kind of level. Uh, but, I mean, you know, what, what can you say about that? Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's, it's still pretty indispensable as far as, uh, you know, those older manga series, those old old school manga series. It's not gonna give you give you a, a thing about like you know Soul Eater or is this a zombie or Attack on Titan or any of those newer titles. But for those older titles, it's it's gonna it's gonna do good for you. Also, it's kind of odd that some of the stuff, some of the manga in here, like a uh, like they have an entry for Rosa Versailles and. And uh, Devil Man, which both of those series, I will tell you right now, never came out in English. So I don't know why on earth he put those in there. And also, there's no mention of uh, OELs uh, or uh, Manwas or anything that is not Japanese in origin. Uh, which I mean, which I mean, you know, you can debate all day whether or not OEL deserves to be included with manga, or whether it includes just being comics inspired by manga, or what have you, uh, that's a whole debate you can have, uh, and there is no right or wrong answer with it, uh, but I mean, it, it doesn't include those, and it doesn't include manhwa, so, it, so if you're looking for those titles, they will not be in there, um, or any, or of course anything past 2007. Uh, another one that, that's, 
infinitely less useful, but still contains various entries of manga in them, is, uh, is this one, uh, 500 Essential Graphic Novels, which, which does include in it several, uh, manga titles within it. I mean, I can just, uh, flip through this, and, I mean, uh, well, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while before I hit a manga in here. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like right here, Blue, which, uh, which Blue, I, I do recommend. That's a really good manga title. And it also comes with a little, little plot and a review here, which, uh, which, yeah, uh, it works, which, yeah, the fact that they draw the two protagonists looking very similar makes it hard to differentiate between them, and it works for and against the story as the two girls become entwined with one another. Sparsely written and lightly drawn, the real tale is inferred between the lines and the gaps, which, yeah, I'd, I'd buy that. Also, it's on, like, a four-star rating, rating system, and it gives it, like, a two-and-a-half. It gives it, like, a two-star rating. Uh, so, I mean... So, I mean, yeah, Blue is, was a pretty good series, but it's nothing really highbrow or, or big, big title. Um, I mean, you know, they've got other stuff in here. Uh, Naruto, uh, One Piece right here gives it a three out of four stars. But, of course, again, keep in mind, he's only reviewing, like, the first volume, the first installment of these, of these tales. Uh, I think also in here you got Lone Wolf and Cub, uh, Buddha. Uh, you know, you're going to run into a lot of uh, Tezuka stuff in in this thing so i mean that's that's at least another avenue but it's also really good for uh, just graphic novels in general as well um but i mean yeah as far as like reference guides for manga there the uh, complete guide to manga is the pretty much the only good thing which i mean it's good that we got complete guide but you know it's also kind of disheartening that it's the only thing to go for you know there's not really anything to see like if what Jason Thompson did is really good or just just good enough but I mean you know it could have been a lot less informative and a lot less useful so again pick that one up it's also very cheap you're you're not gonna pay more than maybe five bucks for it I'm sure unused uh, let's see um, maybe there's something else I need to mention I'll, I'll think about it I'll get back to you